Baird and John Baird, when the Prime Minister goes in and asks for his prorogation, what is the reason he's going to tell the Governor General that the House should no longer meet? I think uh, first and foremost, we uh, did get the confidence last week three times uh, in establishing uh, this government with uh, the passage of the throne speech and associated motions. I think it's time for cooler heads to prevail, uh, almost a timeout. Uh, you know, it really sells out everything the Liberal Party stands for and sells out everything the country stands for to bring the the separatists into a into a coalition on the government side of the house. Well, I want to go back though to what you said. You've uh, proven you have the confidence of the house. It is a minority parliament. Uh, this isn't football. We don't have timeouts. Well, uh, you know, it's it's uh, the House of Commons, and the government has just uh, met the house. It, we've been here for two weeks. You have the confidence of the house until you lose the confidence of the house. And now that you're faced with the prospect of losing the confidence of the house, you want to turn it into football and take a timeout. And if you're the governor general, uh, she knows it's not football, and doesn't she just have to follow the rules and say, well, you've got the confidence of the house so far, Mr. Harper. Uh, why wouldn't you continue until? something happens that you don't or you continue to have it and you just keep rolling along. Well, we're proposing to do just that, to follow the rules and uh, prorogation is a uh, parliamentary uh, parliamentary uh, uh, operation. We're already seeing cracks in the Liberal caucus. Uh, many, many more privately have significant reservations uh, about this arrangement with the separatists and... Uh, They're not coming on TV and saying that. Only Conservatives are saying that so far. Well, the one is quoted in the uh, Guelph Mercury this morning. Uh, and, and then I, he said he was misquoted. But anyway, uh, you're right. He was quoted in the. Uh, the, uh, yeah. the uh, anyway, uh, let, let me let, let me let me let me go back. Let. I suspect had a visit from the Liberal Whip. Well, uh, that could be too. We don't know, but uh, that is probably not bad speculation. Prorogation is a part of the system. Prorogation after two weeks, without any legislation passed, without any legislation except one bill introduced. Prorogation when you've already had your throne speech accepted and then done nothing else, that is unheard of. So while prorogation is a part of the system, prorogation like this has never been a part of the system. Hey, we're in unusual times. If uh, there is a prorogation, if uh, the government comes back and brings in a budget before there's a confidence vote, and if that budget passes with the NDP and the Liberals voting against it and the bloc supporting, because the coalition agreement and their support is only contingent on the NDP and the Liberals being the government, and if they're not, and the bloc then votes with the Conservatives to pass that budget, will that budget in some way be illegitimate because it was the Conservatives with bloc support to pass the budget? What it will be is it will be a budget uh, with a Canadian flag on the front. It will be a budget in the best interest of Canada. We're not going to uh, make an arrangement for a coalition with the separatist bloc Quebecois. We but but if it. you get legislation through only with their support, I mean, if, if, if uh, the suggestion now is being made they're an illegitimate grouping, even though they've been in the House since... Uh, 19 I don't think anyone said they're an illegitimate group. They were elected uh, by the people in, their, in each constituency. Uh, but Stefan Dion... some of them are going to get nice pensions from the House of Commons yeah. when they retire. Stefan Dion, uh, when he ran for office, never spoke of this. No Canadian... I don't think there's a single voter in Canada uh, who voted for this. Uh, they, uh, Canadians are rightly concerned with what they've seen. Uh, and I think what we want to do is basically take a time out and go over the heads of the uh, members of parliament, go over the heads, frankly, of the governor general, go right to the Canadian people. Uh, they're speaking up loudly right across this country in a way that I've never seen. I'm in my fifth term as a member of parliament, federally and provincially, and I've never seen... Uh, I wonder if I get confused how long you've been here. Sorry about that. Uh, so, so you now think the House of Commons is illegitimate, uh, that the Governor General is illegitimate, and you're going to go over there? Well, well, no, no, but, but, but no, 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 no. But John, you are a conservative, and you've always been a conservative, and you live in a British parliamentary system. And in a British parliamentary system, it is only legitimate for the government to be the government if it can sustain the support in the House of Commons. And to say now you're going to go over their heads. Brush them aside. They're not even important anymore. We're going to go to the people. And the Governor General isn't important. Now we're going to go. What well, yes, you did. You just said we're going to go over their heads. We're going to go I to the people of Canada. No, but you said they're not important because no, you're going over. Well, if you're going over there, well, I think I think that I think in, I think in a democracy, I think I'll I'll, I'll speak for myself and I'll, I'll let you summarize uh, uh, other issues. But uh, you know what I'm saying is is that we're going over the the heads of the politicians and the governor general directly to the Canadian people. Uh, we live in a democracy; they're the I'm ones. I think how this is because uh, I'm really fascinated that you think you should go over the heads of your fellow parliamentarians. Um, is it, in the people, um, so this is uh, this is Kiev a couple of years ago. Is it? Uh, think, are you all going to have different colored scarves and I march think, up and down? The I street? think. Do I think when members of parliament. Uh, here. I don't agree with you. You'll go over their heads, I, and, and, I, even I, if they are legit. Keith, you must have been as fascinated by all of that as I was. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, you know, this is actually, uh, you know, Don's mentioning the ombudsman. This, this is a, uh, a challenge to journalists to cover this because uh, I cannot remember a circumstance when so many members of the government, including the prime minister, say things that need to be corrected because they aren't true. Mm -hmm. um, and Mr. Baird, for instance, just said that the Bloc Québécois would be on the government side of the house. Uh, he either has not read the agreement or he hasn't understood it, but, but that's absolutely not true. Um, but, <laughs> you know, we have a responsibility to point that out, and I think, uh, you know, Don was trying to do that, obviously, but it is difficult.